Hey, what's going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a product that I really, really like. And I think a lot of you could take advantage of a product really, really effective at keeping your phone protected. This iPhone protection kit for my 10s Max, my iPhone, was actually sent through Amazon. Got to me really, really quick. It was like two-day shipping. Got here almost instantaneously. And uh, it's the anti-blue protection kit, privacy glass. I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to put the link through the Amazon page in the description box so you guys can get access to it, check out the reviews, see what the description is, and you know think if it's something that you would consider after watching all the parts to today's video. The product itself actually comes in two parts. It's got an ultra clear, high definition privacy glass, and then the second one that comes with it is actually the black version of the privacy glass screen protector. The product that's being sold on Amazon and the link down in the description box is listed at $11.99, a pretty good deal for a product that gets you two privacy screen protectors in one package. These are really, really nice screen protectors. Ultra thin, ultra responsive, super durable. It's got like a 9H hardness rating, so it's really, really tough. The fact that it's really transparent, excellent visibility. I don't see any type of glare. It's To me, it seems anti-glare completely, and I've really enjoyed it thus far. Personally, I think the best part about this glass is not just the fact that it's ultra clear and ultra responsive, but the fact that it's also super private, and that's the goal of these types of screen protectors. All the supplies for installing it were included inside the package, the screen protectors, the tools needed to install it. It was super easy, really effective, no bubbles, no issues whatsoever. It actually was one of the best parts of the purchase. Another thing that I really enjoy is the fact that you have peace of mind knowing that they cover it under any type of warranty. If you have issues in the installation process and something fails, they got you covered. You just reach out to Homey International, they take care of business. The video is going to contain three parts. The first part is going to be the unboxing of all the contents of the materials, everything that comes with it for the installation. The second part is actually going to be the installation of the product and kind of how it is in terms of putting it all together. And believe you me, it's very easy. Even the Sneed man could do it. And lastly, I'll give you the overview and my impressions upon using the screen protector. That's enough of the introduction. Let's go ahead and cue the music and all of that in this video and this review starts now. Hey, what's going on guys? It is the SMT. This is the first ever review of a product here on the SMT YouTube channel. I've done product reviews in terms of applications, not really directly products, but this is going to be the first product that I actually review and it may help a lot of you in terms of the phones you use and how to protect them. So what we're going to be looking at is a privacy screen protector kit for the iPhone XS Max, a very, very popular phone and this particular type of screen protector should help a lot of people. Anyways, the company that I purchased this from is Homey. This is a, um, a company that distributes and sells these products on Amazon. It is listed as the Privacy Screen Protector Kit for iPhone XS Max. It's designed for the 6.5 inch display. It comes in a two pack with a black privacy screen protector and a high clear privacy screen protector. So we're gonna kind of unbox everything that comes in the package and then we'll do the installation, and then we'll kind of do a review of how it performs and the whole experience of doing all that. So it's a really highly reviewed um, screen protector that sells pretty well on Amazon. It's got great feedback, a lot of good reviews, and uh, a lot of people really seem to be enjoying it. Uh, some of the things that I've seen on it in terms of its uh, performance and what it's supposed to do and how it's designed, uh, it's, it's ultra thin, it's ultra responsive to touch, gives a very accurate and consistent touch responsive anti-glare it's got the complete surface protection it's got very good hardness there's a lot of good things it's scratch resistant and highly durable so many uh key points that could offer excellent protection and i think a lot of people are going to be very happy with this particular screen protector so what i'm doing right now is i'm just kind of looking around the box for anything i'm going to get into it i'm going to see what it comes with and uh we'll kind of talk our way through the different elements of the unboxing what comes with it and then how to do the installation so uh being that this is basically the same product that you guys would be getting if you were to purchase it i'll leave a link in the description for the link to amazon for you guys to make that purchase and of course you'd be helping the smt as well as getting an excellent product so here's kind of the initial uh components that you'll see when you open it you'll see the first screen protector and then there is the second screen protector so this is times two one being the black privacy the other being the high clear privacy then it comes with an installation kit for each 
of those screen protectors. This is where you'll find like the alcohol pad, uh, the microfiber cloth, and uh, the sticker that'll help you get off any residual dust or particles. And then here's the installation kit. Takes you step by step through the process of how to you know apply it. Make sure you put it on correctly so you don't have bubbles, and uh, you know you do it right and all that good stuff. And then uh, right behind that, you'll see a, uh, a warranty, a limited warranty that covers you in case something goes wrong with it or you believe that your particular unit is uh, is faulty in any way. So they'll honor that warranty and uh, you just register it using that QR code. Pretty simple process and, uh, you know, very painless. So it's nice that they actually offer that. I think that's great. I think they did a really good job of making sure that you understand what comes with it. And then it's got the installation kit. And the fact that it comes with two screen protectors is really nice. Each of them identified as to the type. So black privacy, high clear privacy. And then it's all in there kind of in one foldable uh, pamphlet or package. And, you know, it's nice. I, I could see like, you know, maybe one gets damaged due to a, a drop or something or something else. You get two of them and then there's all the features and the things and what you do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the installation process. All right, so what we're going to be doing now in this component is we're going to actually put this thing on. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm really that good at this. I'm going to give it a shot. I've done these before for my wife. I've done it before for customers. I've been repairing iPhones for eons. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys step by step through the process. You could take a look at how easy it is. And uh, honestly, when I was doing this, it was pretty simple. So I'm going to be putting on the high clear privacy protector. And like I said, it was pretty painless. I didn't really have much of a difficulty putting it on. And as I was putting it on, I didn't really have many major hiccups. I did exactly as they advised. Uh, you'll see I am kind of looking at the uh, high clear privacy protector that I'm going to be putting on this particular iPhone XS Max. Again, it does come with a black privacy screen protector. I kind of like the idea of the high clear privacy one better because it sounds like it would be a little bit more transparent. But you guys can see they are a little bit different between the high clear privacy and the black privacy. But it's nice to get both. And of course, you know, you can always buy more of these, share them as gifts. You know, um, they do make for excellent gifts. I can't see how somebody wouldn't appreciate a screen protector, especially in this day and age with displays being so expensive, cracks and scratches and things of that nature. You know, keep them protected. It makes for a great gift. And again, I'll be putting a link in the description box for the product so you can see its reviews and you can make the purchases on Amazon. All right, so here's the installation kit. You'll see it comes with the alcohol cleaning uh, pad and you guys can clean down the surface of the display where you'll be adhering the protector and it also comes with the microfiber cloth so after you're done with the alcohol wiping you can use the microfiber cloth to get any residuals that may be on there including dust and uh, being that it's a microfiber cloth prevent any scratches and things like that so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start by cleaning the surface uh, really really easy to do it's just basically a little alcohol uh, cleaning pad and you know you can wipe it down beforehand and then do this secondarily uh, but this should do everything so it's got some alcohol on it it's going to completely screen uh clean all edges of the screen the center you want to make sure you get a good cleaning on there so that way it sticks and adheres really well and the better you do this the less likely it is that it would lift move slide or have any types of bubbles or any type of just weird inconsistencies on the adhering process so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to just do a little bit of wiping with the microfiber cloth. It's actually pretty clean at this point. It's mostly dry. Alcohol dries fast. And um, I believe that the pad itself, the alcohol pad was like 70% isopropyl. So it's not like uh, super scary to use or super concentrated. So it was pretty simple. And the microfiber cloth is doing a good job of just getting whatever smudges I may have left on the edges. So I took care of that. There it is. Just kind of like blew a little dust off. Now to make sure that you get all of the dust off, there's one more thing you could do. And that's using the sticker. So what you do is you pull the sticker off by this little tab. And I'm going to have a little hard time getting it off. So that's why you guys will see it'll take a little while for me to get to it. Anyways, that little sticker will get off any dust that may have incidentally kind of landed on the top of the display. After I already did the alcohol swabbing uh, or the alcohol wiping and then the, um, the microfiber cloth wiping. So because of that, they'll give you the sticker. And once you get the sticker off, you can just kind of dab the edges and dab the middle so that way you can get anything off. Just make sure you don't add any new fingerprints or anything. I definitely washed my hands before this with soap and water to try to reduce how much oil was on my fingers. And, you know, I didn't want to smear or smudge anything else on there. So I went ahead and I did that. And now I'm kind of like prepping the glass. 
uh, you'll see that there's like a step one. It's just a pull tab to help you get the sticky side exposed. And that's going to be the side that you're going to be adhering to the display. So you remove that little sticker, you get the last little bits of dust or particles off, and then you'll finally be adhering and applying the screen protector. So you really want to work the edges of the screen protector. Try to find the sweet spot. I always find it helpful with iPhones, especially the newer ones that have the notch, is try to line up the notch part around the lines. And you'll see I like to get a little bit on the the close side of things so I can kind of see it. So I'm adjusting my fingers ever so slightly. You never want to overreact and try to overcompensate on any edges. Just move little by little and then you just drop it on there. You know, just let it plop on and you want to try to apply it through the middle. Just give it a kind of dab and then it'll kind of seal off from the center outwards. And then once it does that, it just kind of by itself will kind of apply. Uh, if you have to squeeze any of the air bubbles out, it's really simple. In fact, most of the time they'll come out by themselves over the course of the days. You might want to just hit the edges a little bit to make sure that they completely stick to the side. But again, those will be fine in just a little bit of time. It'll do it by itself and of course through normal usage. All those edges and that little bit of space there, it all kind of take care of itself. So now it's pretty much completely on there. And what I want to do is I want to take a look at how it is looking at kind of like um, an edge reflection I want to see how well it's stuck on there you can see I'm kind of just pushing the edges to see if I can get rid of any of the little bit of space that's in there but it'll go away by itself and it did really really well so I was actually very pleased with how this applied super easy all the materials that were on there were great everything worked as it was supposed to and it went on just fine what we'll do now is we'll kind of take a look at how exactly it performs with the privacy all right, so now that it's on, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at how it actually performs. So the way this screen protector, screen protector is supposed to be designed is you're supposed to be able to see it directly head on without any issues. But as it tilts, because it is privacy, it should actually kind of give you like a dark hue as it kind of tilts. So if somebody was viewing it somewhat from the side, they wouldn't be able to see it. So that's why they call it that, a privacy protector. So... You'll see once it gets past a certain point on the side angle that you can't see anything on the screen really anymore. And I'd say it's it does a really, really good job of that. I mean, it's it's performing exactly as it is described. So head on, you could see the apps, you could see the, you know, the text. If you're reading, if you're on a page, if you're looking at a picture, possibly a private picture, you'll see that somebody who's on the side of you or even just ever so slightly behind you, but kind of to the side, they're not going to be able to see the detail. So. I think this screen protector is performing really, really well, exactly what it's supposed to do. And, you know, I'm very, very happy with it. So actually, I've got this one on an iPhone XS Max. Uh, this is a phone that actually Carlos let me borrow. I'm going to try it out and review it so far so good. And then I'm going to do one for my wife and she's really excited about it. So I'll put one on for her. And uh, so far, I, I can tell you, it, it looks really, really nice. It does exactly what it was designed to do. Anyways, that's the installation. That's this particular performance on the installation and how it looks. Uh, I'll kind of wrap things up here with a quick little blurb on this product. In my opinion and experience, this particular product is excellent. It's performed exactly what I've wanted it to do. It's 100% exactly what it describes to be. And the installation was super easy. It's a very affordable product. And being that it is effective, I think they meet the goal of what Homie was trying to do with this particular product. I highly recommend it. I think you guys could definitely capitalize on it for your iPhone XS Max or similar product. This is definitely a go from the SMT. The affiliate link is in the description box. So if you do want to take advantage of this offer and getting this product, I highly recommend it. That link is in the description box through Amazon. You can see the reviews, the descriptions, and the shipping is super fast and super easy. And it is you know, covered through everything through Amazon and through the seller. And before you guys get going, there are some links in the description box I would love for you to check out. First of all, the SMT Patreon page. We've got one, two, and three dollar tiers to get you exclusive access to videos, perks, interactions, live streams, etc. Join a community of like-minded people that are into tech enthusiasm and other types of mobile technologies. We also have the link to the second channel, it's the Mobile Tech live streams, where all of our live streams get archived, full catalog of podcasts there. We have the at Sneed Tech Twitter handle, if you guys want to get in touch with the community there. And lastly, Megadon.net, never need another social media platform ever again. No algorithms, no ads, no tracking, Megadon.net. wraps up this video, thank you all for being here and thank you for watching. If you could, please rate this video 
Also share it to your favorite social medias. That helps tremendously, helps the channel grow quite a bit. And uh, maybe you're new, this is your first time here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you know whenever I do upload new videos here to the channel. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you again so very much for watching. I'm the SMT and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.